Hey there, Scorpio, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your monthly reading. This is going to be a reading for the month of July, and we're going to take a look at past, present, and near future energies for you. Also, Scorpio, if this reading resonates and you want to book a personal reading, all the information about how to do that is in the description box below. Ooh, interesting. And of course, if you enjoy what I do, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. I love me some coffee. Donation link is below, and any and every amount is greatly appreciated. Okay, um, I like this. I like the energies. Everything kind of works out at the end. Everything balances out in the end. But I can see that your recent past, not easy. So the main energy for your reading this month is the justice. The universe is bringing in divine balance. It's restoring divine balance. That's why I said everything is going to work out at the end. But I do feel like, you know, just like a roller coaster, before you stop, there's a lot of loops and turns and ups and downs. In the recent past, you get the Six of Cups, the world, and the devil. There was a soul connection here. There was a soul connection, a divine connection. Um, this could be, you know, a friend, family member, romantic relationship. Take it as it resonates. And I do see that a phase ended here. The reason whatever this is ended <clears throat> is because somebody, either you or your person or the both of you, have some very unhealthy behavioral patterns here. Um, and that's what brought about this ending. So we'll clarify in a minute and see exactly what those were. It could be lack of communication, lack of emotional intelligence, um, manipulative behavior. I don't know. We'll see when we clarify. In the current situation, you get the Six of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. It's becoming very, very clear to you that, that despite the fact that you may feel abandoned, that you may feel a loss, right? Like a significant loss from this connection, a significant loss of the person um, that walked away. Whether you walked away, they walked away, it doesn't matter. It's becoming clear to you that that was the right choice, the walking away part that was the right thing to do. That's what restored divine balance here. Did it suck? Yes. Did it hurt? Yes. Is there that feeling of loss there? Yes. But it still is like logically, practically, it's clear to me that this is what needed to happen. In the near future, <clears throat> you get the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Wands, and the Hanged Man. The universe is coming in in the near future and trying to shift things. They're trying to move things in a better direction for you, like a complete 180 from these difficult energies. Literally, the universe is like, oh, okay, you've been through it here. Complete 180. Let's, let's shift things. And you're resisting it. You, here in the 3D world, are standing in the way of this. You're literally, the universe is coming in and be like, here, all good energies. You're like, no, 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 stop. No. <clears throat> I'll see why. I don't know why you would want to stop, resist, you know, this energy, but we will see. Um, and again, Scorpio, I say you because this is your reading. This could also be your person's energy. So take it as it resonates. Okay. Let's take a look at the justice, which is the main. Okay. I usually only take three, four came out, so I'll take four. The justice is clarified by the justice again, the sun, the nine of wands, and the hierophant. You are standing in your own way here. There is a connection here. There is a divine connection here. For some of you, uh, this may have been like a marriage, but for most of you, it's going to be one of those connections which we weren't married on paper, but we might as well have been. Like that's the depth of this connection. That's the intensity of this connection. That's like this connection is truly, truly beautiful, right? And the universe is coming in and being like, hey, Let's restore divine balance. Let's balance everything out. Let's bring back happiness here, right? The sun is the happiest card in the tarot deck. The universe is like, here, giving all this to you on a silver platter. And what are you doing? You're standing here in the way. You're like, nope, stay back, stay back. It's like the universe is coming in and giving you these beautiful gifts and you are resisting them. You are here in the 3D world physically stopping them, resisting them, not accepting them. This is, I don't like, have you ever like met somebody where you're like, you give them a compliment, you pay them a compliment. You're like, oh my gosh, your hair looks so nice today. No, it doesn't. It's all burnt. It looks terrible. Just take the compliment. Why are you throwing it back in my face? It's kind of what you're doing with the universe right now. Let's see. Let's take a look at the recent past. I'll start off by clarifying the six of cups. Okay. You're very chatty today. I will say that your cards are just flying out of the deck. Six of Cups is clarified by the Tower, 
the Nine of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. Something happened here in the soul connection. Something very, very unexpected. It was very destabilizing for you. This came out of nowhere. You're like, yay, this is amazing. This is a soul connection. Everything's great. And then bam, out of nowhere, the universe is like, psych. No, it's not. And just everything just completely shatters um, in front of you. And I can see that it causes you, or it caused, because this is the recent past, it caused you a lot of pain, it caused you a lot of anxiety, it caused you a lot of sleepless nights. And I do see you spending a lot of time up in your head here, like evaluating and assessing, like what happened? Why did this happen? Is this my fault? Is this their fault? How did this come about? You know, really, really trying to analyze things um, and see like what is going on because you are in pain, you are going through some anxiety here. And this is kind of your way of coping with it, it seems. Let's clarify the world in the recent past. The world is clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, which you get again in the near future, the Knight of Swords, and the Chariot. It ended. Things ended, and you're like, okay, it ended. Let's go. Let's move along. Very much kind of like glossing over this energy, but it's not glossing over. It's literally like... How do I explain this? Um, imagine you're sitting there and you're just kind of like sad and anxious and then somebody comes up and picks you up and it's like, okay, let's start running. You're like, I don't want to run. But they're like, come on, come on, let's start running. And then you start running and then you start running and running and running and the energies just become, you gain that momentum. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. Something happened where you're like, okay, I can't keep being sad anymore. And you kind of just picked yourself up and started metaphorically like running and whatever it is that you did to like pick yourself up and shift the energies it worked it really did but let's see what this devil is all about in the recent past mm -hmm. the devil is clarified by the fool the knight of pentacles and the six of wands yeah you started running you know the energies picked up and you're like okay this is a new beginning i've wiped the slate clean we've moved past the difficult part yay now Keep in mind, you're running in the direction of success. You're running, 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 running. But then all of a sudden, you start running and your mind kicks in, your fears kick in. And they're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, Scorpio, where are you running? Why are you running so fast? What if you trip? What if you fall? What if you, you know, you don't know where you're running to? What if you get tired? What if you don't have any food? What if you don't have any water? You're in the process of moving and running and you feel amazing and you feel great and you're not thirsty and you're not hungry and you haven't fallen yet but it's like those fears, right? That unhealthy behavioral thoughts. This could be like deep seated. I don't know what this is, but it's literally like everything's going great. You're running in the path to success. The, the universe is, is guiding you down that path and you're like, yay, this feels amazing. And then it's these fears and these thoughts which kind of like slow you down and they take you from running to literally crawling. Um, fear is powerful. Fear is very, very powerful it will stop you dead in your tracks. And it seems like that's kind of what it's doing here. It hasn't stopped you completely in the recent past, but it is um, definitely slowing you down significantly. Let's take a look at the current situation. I want to see what the Six of Swords is. Interesting. Six of Swords is clarified by the Devil, which you just got, the Hanged Man, which you get again in the near future, and the Eight of Wands. You walked away. Right. So you walked away and again, you broke up, they broke up. It doesn't matter. Whoever broke up, that's not the relevant point here. You walked away. You physically turned your back. You're like, OK, I walked away. I'm running in a different direction. I'm running towards success. And then, bam, these fears kick in. And this is this isn't a fear coming from the outside person. It's internal for you. This is a dialogue that you have with yourself. So an example of this would be you running, running, running. Everything's amazing. And then all of a sudden you're like, well, what if I get hungry and I don't have food? What if there's no more food? What if there, What if I'm going to get thirsty? What if I get a pebble in my shoe? None of those things have happened yet and you're already sitting there <clears throat> preparing yourself for the worst case scenario down the line that might potentially happen. The universe is guiding you in a different direction. You're running in that direction. It feels amazing. Then your fears kind of literally, remember how I said here, they're not stopping you dead in your tracks. They're just slowing you down. Here, the more you have this internal dialogue, the more you have this internal narrative, it is stopping you dead in your tracks. It is pot, like literally freezing the energies. Now, again, I don't know if this is, it, it does feel like a relationship to me, um, a romantic relationship, but we spend the most time with ourselves up in our head and it seems like that's exactly what's happening to you here. Only the person inside your head is not being very positive right now. 
Let's clarify the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is clarified by the Page of Swords, Four of Cups, Four of Wands. It's becoming very, very clear to you, right? Excuse me, that thinking about this connection from a perspective of doubt, from a perspective of not negativity, but there's positive thoughts and then there's doubts, fears, etc. right? And you're looking at this connection and everything that happened, that your part in it and their part in it from a very... Um, like a, a, a fear and doubt kind of perspective, right? So it's not like you're looking at it objectively, you're looking at it through a lens, which is tainted, right? Fear, doubt, etc. That makes you unhappy as a result of that. But in the current situation, what I do see and what's beautiful is that you're recognizing that. You're like, okay, maybe the way I think about this connection or just relationships in general, strong connections in general, may not be accurate. It may be a little bit tainted. And the more I think about it, the more unhappy it makes me. And so you're kind of having a bit of an internal shift here where you're like, okay, maybe I don't need a doubt and question and fear everything. Let's clarify the five of pentacles in the current situation. Five of Pentacles is clarified by the Empress, the Ace of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. Yeah, it seems like this person that you lost, this connection that you lost, um, you want a new beginning here, which is leading me to believe, well, maybe, again, it doesn't matter who ended. You're showing me, like, this person, as far as I'm concerned, they are the person for me. Like, I couldn't build them better if I built them in a factory. And what you do want is a brand new beginning here. Because you do still feel the loss. You do still feel that emotion of, I miss them. I lost a significant person. I lost a significant connection. However, what I do see you doing here is essentially taking all these feelings and putting logic on top of them. When we apply logic on top of emotion, it makes it less difficult to cope with, right? We try to rationalize our feelings. So if I'm feeling, let's say right now I'm missing my person, right? What your brain will come in and do is be like, no, no, you're not missing them. You're just really, really bored and you haven't hung out with anybody. So you just feel lonely. So obviously you miss them. Or, oh, I'm thinking about them. You're only thinking about them because you drove past a Krispy Kreme and you guys always used to go to Krispy Kreme. So it's not that you're thinking about them. It's just that something else caused you to think about them. That's what I see happening here in the current situation. You're really trying to rationalize um, a lot of your feelings, your emotions, etc. Let's look at the near future. I want to see the Wheel of Fortune in the near future. Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Temperance, the Emperor, and the Hermit, all major arcana. Your higher self is definitely kicking in here in the near future. Give it some time. Be patient. You have this immense need for control, right? Everything has to happen how you want it to happen, when you want it to happen, because obviously that equals safety. When we control everything, we know how everything's going to play out. But deep down, you can feel like you are pretty intuitive. You're a water sign. You can feel that the universe is coming in and trying to be like, Scorpio, let's try a different direction. Be patient with yourself, right? It's not easy to just completely release control all at once. But I do see you coming to this realization in the near future of like, oh, I dropped the cards. Of um, maybe holding on to this control is really not bettering me. It's not benefiting me. It's not doing anything for me except for causing me a lot of pain by trying to control both myself, this connection, the energies, etc. Why do I keep saying etc. in this reading? I don't know. I have no idea, Scorpio. <laughs> Let's take a look at the Seven of Wands in the near future. Seven of Wands is clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, the Three of Cups. What you're resisting here in the near future is the fact, is accepting the fact that you're waiting. You're showing me, no, no, you know, I'm not waiting for anything. I'm kind of just doing my own thing. I'm focusing on myself. I'm nurturing myself. I'm taking care of myself, right? In the background, though, you're waiting for a reconciliation. And for you, as far as you're concerned, it's not a question of, are we going to reconcile? It's literally a question of when this is going to happen, right? Just like you know that the sun is going to rise tomorrow, you know this reconciliation is going to happen. You just don't know exactly when. But because you're focused on me, right, like you, your energy, your growth, your stability, you're like, no, 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 I'm not waiting. Again, you're doing the same thing that you did here. I don't feel these things. This is just something else. And I mean, it's okay. Like, you can wait on a reconciliation. Why? Like, you don't have to act on it. But why are you suppressing it? Why are you ignoring it? Why are you pretending like that's not the case? 
Let's clarify the hanged man in the near future for you. Hangman is clarified by the star, the ten of wands, the five of pentacles. You got the five of pentacles in the same row in the current situation. You're keeping yourself stuck, okay? You know what you want. Your higher self knows what it wants. You know which direction you're drawn in. You want a reconciliation. You want this person. You have all these feelings. But what you're doing is essentially um, not focusing on the feelings, but focusing on the loss. So instead of just being like, okay, I miss this person. I, I want to reconcile. I want them in my life. This is the significance that they hold for me. You're not looking at that because for those, those, those emotions are too painful. You're looking at, oh, they left me. They abandoned me. Why would I ever get them back? Um, you know, I'm not actually feeling these things. I don't want them. I don't miss them. I just haven't eaten today. You know, it's, it's, you're focusing on the different energies instead of focusing on the emotions that you have, right? Um, and that's okay. We all do that because emotions are complicated and they're confusing and they're also pretty painful sometimes. But what I do see here is essentially you're the one standing in your own way here, Scorpio. From the universe, you get the King of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles, right? You're trying to reason your way into feeling less. You're showing me I'm drawn to this person, I'm attracted to this person, I miss this person, I want this person. But the more I think about it, right, the more I try to analyze and think and think and think and think, the less I'm going to miss them. Oh, I miss them today? No, I don't. I don't miss them. They did this to me and they did that to me and it wouldn't even work out between us and why would I even bother? Da -da 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 -da. And that's what you do in order to essentially make yourself feel less, miss them less, want them less, right? So, Scorpio, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading resonated and helped. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And of course, if you enjoy what I do, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. Donation link is below. Thanks again for tuning in, Scorpio, and I'll see you here on the next one.